Hey everyone, this is Pride, and I'm here with this week's Rage or Rave review of your favorite shows. My twin sister's been antagonizing me for about a year or so to watch this show that she's in love with called Once Upon a Time. So I had a weekend alone to myself and pulled it up on Netflix, barreled through the first season, and have been recording the second season via my DVR. It basically starts off with this, uh, your favorite storybook, fairy tales, being cursed and brought into the real world and living in a small town called Storybrook, Maine. They've been cursed by the evil queen, they can't leave the town, and Prince Charming, Snow White's daughter, illegitimate love child, has been shipped in a tree trunk away, and 28 years later she should come back and she is going to be their savior. So the first season is all about that. The second season, it, it progresses a little bit more. The cast is what really sold it for me for this show. You have Emma Swan, who is Jennifer Morrison. She's Cameron from House. You have Mary Margaret, Snow White, and she is Jennifer Goodwin. And if you haven't seen um, Big Love, you probably wouldn't recognize her, but she is the most adorable actress you will ever fall in love with. But the saving grace for me for this show, the my favorite character, the best actor in the series by far, is Rumpelstiltskin, Mr. Gold. Um, he is played by... Robert Carlyle, and he's from Stargate Universe. He played the Doctor in Stargate Universe. This man is insane. When he plays Rumpelstiltskin, he's a completely different character, and you can't help but hate him and love him because he, his voice just lilts, and he does this little thing with his hands, and you just get really into the show. Whenever he's on screen, the show glows for me. The other two actresses as well. The rest of the cast, I could kind of give or take a little bit. The best part about the show for me, for sure, is... Um, trying to figure out who each person is because when they're in Storybrooke they have like an alias and their alias sometimes is very it's supposed to be reminiscent of who they were in the real world so there's a guy named Glass and he was the mirror but um, Rumpelstiltskin is Mr. Gold but some are a lot more subtle so you really have to like you meet a new character and you have to kind of figure out who they are in the show and also how Rumpelstiltskin kind of plays multiple characters from different story plots different villains and he has different nicknames because of it. So he's really integrated in the story and it's all wrapped around him, which is great because the actor sells it for sure. The worst part of the show by far is the green screen. Anything not happening on the set of Storybrooke, Maine is just overly green screened, super, super hard to watch and not laugh at the total terrible effects. Uh, hopefully season two is gonna get a little bit better, but so far I've seen it and the effects are kind of wonky. I would give this show a review of if you have a vagina and you like everything whimsical, watch Once Upon a Time. You will love it. If you have a choice and you are a man, you're probably not going to want to watch Once Upon a Time. It is definitely for the ladies or men who want to get with ladies. Hold your girlfriend's hand. Pretend to be Prince Charming. You will get laid that night. So if you have time, definitely I would call it a watch on Netflix show. I wouldn't say watch it right now if you don't have to. Pick it up, barrel through a few episodes, see if you enjoyed as much as I did, and have a great night.